Hello guys, Luna here. Welcome back to another Elden Ring quest guide walkthrough video. And today we're going over the entire quest line for Sorceress Selin, a mage you meet at the Waypoint Rune Cellar in Limgrave, and who after a long quest will eventually award you the Eccentrics armor set, the Glintstone Chris weapon, a new spell called Charred Spiral, and the Witch's Glintstone crown headgear. So lots of rewards for completing this quest, and we're going to go through each of the stages step by step. Let's jump into it. First, speak to the sorceress Selen at the Waypoint Rune Cellar. In your first conversation, she asks if you want to be her protege, and basically we need to find scrolls for her in order to learn more spells, and there are three to collect. The first scroll is next to a Gale Lake South, the second in the graveyard next to the Church of Irith. And the third is in a classroom in the Raya Lucaria Academy. However, you don't really need to do these to continue on with the main part of her story. You can just do them if you want to get more spells from her. Continue on with the game until you reach this part of the map, the primeval sorcerer Azul. And it's quite a journey to reach him close to the hermit village before reaching the volcanic manor. So it's a fair way into the game, but when you interact with him, you will receive an item called the Comet Azure. Take the Comet Azure back to Selene and talk with her. She mentions you spoke with her former mentor, and when you speak to her once more, she will ask you if you want to journey together to restore the primeval current. Accept this offer and talk again about a favor, and she will talk about needing to find someone else in game called Master Lucet. She will give you the Selian Sealbreaker needed to reach him and mention he's somewhere in the Caled Wilds. Now from here, we're going to go find Master Lucet, and there are two ways to get there. You can go the long way through the city of Celia, which you can do another quest here involving Gauri and Millicent. It's not too difficult, you just have to light the flame in one of the towers, and that will allow you access to the back streets and the Church of Plague. But there's an easier way, and that is to head to Fort Farith, where you kill the giant dragon for 75,000 ruins. From here you can go west to this big white stone, which is actually the back of a giant skull, and you can drop down. Go to the graveyard, defeat the enemy, and behind the gravestone is a secret entrance to the Celia hideaway. Travel through the hideaway through false walls and across crystals until you reach this area here. It's just before the room with the giant crystals and if you come to a boss fight then you've gone too far and also don't go into the boss fight because they're very tough. On the crystal look down to see a sealed room. Use the Celian seal from Selen and reach Master Lusat who will give you the Stars of Ruin. Find your way out of the cave and back to Salin. Speak with Salin and she has a favour to ask. She mentions this is not her body, but only a projection, and she asks you to find her body for her, which is what we're going to do next. Also ask her about Master Lusa and she will reward you with the Starlight Shard incantation. So we're going to travel to the 4th Church of Marika and to the Witchbane Ruins to find Selen shackled in a cellar. Now, if you hit her and she has turned against you, because a lot of people have found her already and tried to free her, you can restore her back to normal by praying at the Church of Vows, the one with the giant tortoise in it. Talk to her and she will give you Selen's Primal Glenstone. Now, from here, travel to Rani's Rise, Head just a little bit down to the left and find some ruins. You will have to jump up and down to reveal the secret staircase. And inside of these ruins, behind another secret wall on the inside, is another Selin. Give her the Primal Glinstone. Now for this next part, you're going to have to have beaten General Rodan. After he is defeated, speak with Harold Jerin at the church on Castle Redmains Plaza. He mentions he is no longer bound to the castle and he will be on his way. 
travel from here back to the Witchbane ruins and meet with Jeren next to the chained up Selin. He tells you the truth about Selin, but nothing happens right now. The last part of this quest requires us to travel to Raya Lucaria Academy and reach the Grand Library. Just outside you will have a choice to make. There is a red sign where you will be siding with Jaren, while there is a gold sign where you are siding with Selin. Personally, I will side with Selin, or else you won't get the Shard Spiral Incantation that's available to purchase from her after all this is done, so it's definitely worth siding with her. So pick your side and then you will be in a fight. Now during the fight, Selin loses a lot of health pretty quickly and I'm not sure what will happen if she dies, so keep in mind before you go into the fight that you need to kill him quick enough before Selin dies. But either way, defeat Jaren and after your fight you'll be awarded the armor for defeating him, a dagger that you get from Selin, you will also receive her crown, and you can purchase the incantation that's available from her after all of that. So that is all of the quest line finished for Selin. She mentions the end of the game a lot when you become Elden Lord, so I'm not sure if this has any impact on endings or anything, we'll just have to wait and see. So guys, if you want to see more useful guides for Elden Ring, then like and subscribe, and I'll catch you all in the next one. Bye.